So today I'm going to talk about pool testing. India really needs to scale up testing because for a population of 1.37 billion, so far we've just done about 3 lakhs, uh, which is about 300,000 tests. So uh, while scaling has gone up from around 5,000 tests a day on April 1st to about uh, 30,000 a day uh, within three weeks, we still need to test a lot more people to find out if there's undetected infection in the community. So that's where pool testing comes in. So what is it? Well, for pool testing, throat swabs and nasal swabs are mixed together as a single sample and tested together. So uh, according to new ICMR guidelines, you can mix anything from two to five samples together uh, and test them. So what happens is that if a, a, a pool sample is negative, then obviously everyone in that, in that pool is negative. But if one pool sample tests positive, then each person in that sample is tested individually to see whether they have coronavirus disease. So this is the kind of testing which is recommended when infection in the community, when the prevalence of coronavirus disease is less than 2%. But if it's between 2 and 5%, then every, every uh, person has to be tested individually. And pool testing is not recommended for people at risk, such as close contacts of positive cases, such as health workers who are obviously at higher uh, risk of infection because their level of exposure is uh, higher at any uh, given moment. So how does pool testing help? Well, because you're testing a larger number of people together, uh, it's, it's uh, saving time, it's bringing down costs, and also uh, there's less stress on uh, human resources. You need fewer people to do a larger number of tests. And most importantly, it's actually speeding up uh, the, the time taken to test a larger number of people, which helps in contact tracing, it helps in getting in touch, isolating, quarantining people who are affected. So the, you really need speed to contain an infection because if a, if a, even if one case gets uh, is undetected or is detected even a couple of days later, the chances of that person infecting others is much higher. So as of now, uh, ICMR recommends that pool testing should be done in pools of two to five people. And they recommend it should not be more than five simply because they said uh, it may lead to dilution of the sample and throw up false negatives, which is something we really can't afford. Uh, so, and uh, the best thing about pool testing is also the method of testing is RT-PCR, which is a polymerase chain reaction assay, which is used to test uh, uh, for uh, positivity of the sample, because what it does is it amplifies the genetic material of the, of the virus and uh, detects the virus's RNA which helps to know whether the person is currently infected. Unlike an antibody test, which shows up uh, false negative in early stages of infection, and an antibody test is really very effective in, in telling you whether you've had the infection, uh, uh, you know, at least 10 days ago, but if it's done too soon after a person is infected, it may be false negative simply because the person doesn't have enough antibodies uh, against the infection for them to be detected by the test. So again, uh, pool testing should not be done in hotspots where there are a large number of people infected because then it would be uh, a wasted exercise simply because, uh, you know, if you're mixing samples together, then a lot more people would uh, be testing positive. So there it makes sense to test people individually. And uh, several states already have started using it. Uttar Pradesh has started it. The Andaman started a few days ago. And Maharashtra is very keen to uh, start uh, using pool testing. And they've already asked ICMR for permission uh, because they want to do it in areas where the numbers or where the prevalence of, uh, of coronavirus disease is higher, which as of now, uh, ICMR does not allow. So right now, what India really needs is to do as many tests as possible in the shortest possible time and for that I think pool testing is a very effective and a very accurate way of finding out whether a person is infected or not.